Hello, how to write an opinion article. In order to understand this, we first need to understand what is an opinion article. You have watched my previous video. I have explained this in detail, but I would like to redo this video on the topic of opinion article with more detail and with more information so that you can enjoy and learn more and become better and better. First of all, what is an opinion article? We need to know what an opinion article is. As the name suggests, opinion article is somebody's opinion. But who gives an opinion? Usually an expert in the field gives an opinion, an expert scientist, an expert doctor. But now the question is, if you are a student, can you write an opinion article? Many students say that I am a student. What topic can I choose to write an opinion article? You are an expert in studies. You are expert at whatever subject you are studying right now and you have taken the exam. You have recently taken exam. So at least there would be at least one topic that you would have more knowledge than many other people. So you should start with that topic. Don't think that, oh, I'm not an expert in that field. You still know more than 80% of the people. That's all you need. Remember, if you are better than 80% of the people in a certain subject, you can write about that subject. So never ever stop from writing a paper. Otherwise, nobody would have written anything. Do you think I'm perfect in knowledge in everything that I have written? No, knowledge never ends. And the more we learn, the more we write, the more we realize that we don't know. So learning is a lifelong process. No expert can actually say that he is actually an expert of everything and he knows everything. Nobody knows everything. So don't ever think that, oh, I don't know about this subject. So how can I write? Whatever you know, just start writing. If you know more than 80% people about a certain subject, you can write. And by the way, if you are a student and you have taken exams of any year, first year, second year, third year, whatever subject you have recently studied, you already know more than others. And you, of course, know more than a layman, right? So why can't you write an opinion article? So don't ever shy away from writing an opinion article. Now, where do you do that? You can do that on your computer, on your laptop, on your cell phone. Yes, can you believe that, that I have written so many articles and blogs on my cell phone? Because I don't have time to open or turn on my computer and sit and do all the rituals to write the article. So if I have a deadline coming up and I have a cell phone in my hand, I do that on my cell phone. If you are that good at writing, then go ahead and do that. Now, the next thing is, how do you do it? How do you write it? The first thing first is to remember the structure of your opinion article. Your opinion article has three main components, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. Just like any essay, it has the same three components. Now, what do you write in the introduction section? In the introduction section, you write down what is the problem. So find a problem and choose that problem to focus on. And in this opinion article that you are working on, you will find a solution to that problem. Let's say the problem is low salary for doctors in many Asian countries. Let's say this is our research question or our problem for the opinion article. Now in your discussion section, the body, you will give the solutions that how the salaries can be raised. Maybe the government can subsidize it. Maybe the hospitals can increase the payment that they charge from the patients or they contact more insurance companies. So you can think about all possible solutions and how can you find solutions by talking to other people and searching data. So yes, you can talk to different people and collect information from different people, interview different people. They will give you enough information and you can also get a lot of information from previously published papers. So scientific evidence can be given as solution. And your opinion, of course, your idea, it has to be there as well. So you can give three solutions in the body section. Two of them can be previously published papers. Third one can be simply your opinion. Or two of them can be your simple opinions. And the third could be a research evidence. Or all three can be your opinions. Yes, all three can be your opinion. And you can compare this opinion that you have given these three points with previously published studies related to the same subject. And you see if there are any similarities, if anyone has talked about this stuff or not. So yes, you can find some evidence and bring in there. So these are the two sections. Now the third section is the conclusion section. The conclusion is usually the lesson learned. So what do you write in the conclusion section? Repeat the problem, rephrase it, and give the main bullet points of your paper, of your opinion article, and end with the future recommendation of studies as the call to action or a call to action for the healthcare system that this is what they need to do in order to help the new doctors so that they can get enough salary so that they are not forced to leave their country in order to make a better living. That's how you write an opinion article. I hope this video was helpful. If you still have any doubts, 
please comment below. I will come back and answer your questions and concerns. And keep, keep learning, keep watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.